But in regards to having a wobble, what I would say is, mate, what have you achieved over the first four or five weeks? What have you achieved for the first four or five weeks? You've had something on that's made you do the wobble or you've, and mate, you, it's not hard to, it's not hard to, um, to, to, to get that back. Mm. Like if you have a heavy weekend, this tends to happen with blokes as well. They tend to fall off plan when they have one thing on. One thing happens. Oh, I've got I've a weekend off and then the next week they're like late on a check-in or something because they had that one weekend. It's like, mate, mate, yes, have that weekend. As soon as you come back, they expect you to be like, mate, you need to be on 1,600 calories now because you've eaten fucking 6,000 calories on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. No, no, just get back on track. By the end of the week, I guarantee you've probably maintained from the week before your check-in may be slightly heavier by being back to normal protocols of two and a half thousand calories, say. And then we get the ball rolling again. Like every Something I say to a lot of my clients is, yes, you're going to have stuff on, but 80% of the time, you should be able to stick to this. Well, yeah, That's how we factor you, in Because you, you plan it around their lifestyle. Yeah, you know? we've all got stag dudes. We've all got fucking shit going on. I've got a stag do next month. That means I'm not going to go on there with a fucking Tupperware. <laughs> we're getting hammered <laughs> up. <laughs> That is what it is, but it does not happen every weekend. Do you find as well, I don't know about if it happens with you, but if you have a client, I always say to them, if you fuck up, like say they do, they have, they fucking break and they have a McDonald's or they have some shit, don't just ruin your whole day. Yeah. That's a big thing for me. Like they, they I don't know if, if you've experienced this a lot, but I experience yeah. this a lot. They end up just having then this fucking crazy day of like 5,000 calories because exactly. they're like McDonald's and they'll have like KFC. But that's because they think they fucked up. Whereas yeah. if you go, if you go... But they can right. save it. If they if they don't, if they just yeah, yeah. had that McDonald's and then carried on on plan, it, it won't have that mm. much effect. What I always say with stuff like shit food that you want to say, where we sometimes call it food for the soul rather than shit food, food for the soul, is view that as calories, not as, oh, I've fucked my diet up. No, no you had 900 calories. That, that's all that happened there. That's all that happened there. You had 900 calories. Yes, you went 400 over this week. So now, or 400 over today, or 600 over today, or 1,000 over today. All we're going to do now, right, you're on 2,500 calories. All we're going to do now is restrict by 200 calories on the other five days of the week. That's going down to two, three. You're not really going to feel that. And it still allowed you to have that 1,000 calories. All of a sudden, we've hit those 2,500 calories over the six days. And we've still lost so you haven't, You haven't fucked up nothing. I haven't fucked up nothing. And when you get people to think like that, oh yeah, hang on a minute, like I'm gonna view it as calories rather than this, then they get they tend to not um have that emotional connection with that food source as much. They're still gonna have it, but not as much. And then you can train them out of it. What I would say as well is like um what tends to happen with clients that are um you know heavily binging um is and then think they're not eating that many calories. This is where I always say, like, people aren't going to log things. Like, they might log a McDonald's because, you know, all the calories might be on that, might be on, on that MFP or whatever. But they're not going to log a fish and chips very accurately. Like, you'll see this happen a lot. I, I like, tell my clients, if they do do that, not to eat any, like, shit, like, like fast foods that are like a Chinese or an Indian. Because if they can't count the calories, it's really hard to. So I say to them, try and steer them towards, yeah. like, a bigger chain you know, take yeah, yeah, away yeah, yeah. Yeah. just so yeah. they can count so, the yeah. calories. Yeah. yeah. Even though then even, even still just because the chain restaurants put the calories on there and this is probably going to trigger a few people listening in is, Oh, they said <laughs> that this carbonara is 650. It's not, <laughs> yeah. it's fucking not it's the fucking chef, wrong. the chef behind is not weighing everything. <laughs> it, it might be when they did it in the, in the lab, putting all the, all the little bit of this, little bit of that, but the chef back there is doing this. So let's be honest with ourselves. Let's increase that by 50%. That's what I always say. Let's increase it by 50 So if it says 650 on a chain restaurant, you're probably looking at more like 950, 1,000 calories. Let's be honest. Now, if you're not going to a chain restaurant and you're trying to log accurately, people do this even now that have done 10 courses of Program 10. I still get this because they get fixated sometimes with numbers is they'll log a fish and chips for like 700 calories. I'm like... Mate, I a wish. bowl of chicken and rice is 500. <laughs> <laughs> a bowl of chicken and rice is 500. Like a fish and chips, you're probably looking at more like 1,500, potentially more. So what I always say, oh yeah, but how do I track it? Mate, just do a quick ad. Don't, don't overthink it. Just go, just go, mate, it's 1,500 calories. It was what it was. It is what it is. View it as calories, not as, oh, I fucked my diet up. View it as that. It's 1,500 calories. Simple as that. Yes, you're going to hold a bit more water weight the next day because of the quality of the foods and the sodium within it. Wow. Who cares? And then you just plan for the rest of the week and you go, right, okay. Yeah, I went slightly over on that day. Um, I'll just restrict by 200 calories on every other day. No worries. 
you're on track still. You're still going to get results. You're still going to feel fueled. You're not going over the top. And you know, you, you can say no to yourself as well. What I would say is tracking those things a lot of the time rather than not tracking them actually really helps even if they're just quick adding because it will give them accountability of going rather than fuck it I'm, I'm not I'm not on plan today I'm just going to do a cheat day mm. end up to being six seven thousand plus calories yeah. which is easily done especially blokes easily done oh we're greedy fuckers yeah. aren't we yeah absolutely <laughs> easily done is let's just let's just log it and to not as accurate as possible because obviously you don't know what's going in but to a overestimated amount then you're going to be in a ballpark figure of probably being probably right maybe even slightly over exaggerating that's why we say over exaggerate the calories when you don't know what's in it and then we have base points to, to work on the following week 